Okay, here at the Bronco, do like a encore video. I've had a lot of people request me do another video on it. Um, so this is kind of a midwinter storage wrap up, whatever kind of video. Um, and just some of the logistics of this Bronco. Um, like I've said a million times, it's an 89 Bronco 2 with a 2.9. Uh, V6 If you've watched my videos, you know that I cut the roof off uh, Here's the very dirty interior But this is my trail rig so interior doesn't really matter. I did have to get seat covers because underneath the seat is just disgusting it Had a bunch of mouse stains on it. So Anyway, um Curtis Mundy, this is what I did on my Bronco. I took this boot out of a newer Ranger pickup and I had to cut the top up here to get it to even fit the way that it the, the way that it fits now. Um, you can tell it's still a little cramped up. This middle uh, cross section piece right here is busted so I can't mount it on there. I have my transfer case boot, but it's the same story. I can't, I can't get it to, to stay on. Number one, because it's too tall because of the body lift and my four-wheel drive shifter. And number two, because that cross piece is broken. Um, I normally have a CD player in here, but for winter storage and whatnot, I took it out. Um, and I had birds decide that they wanted to nest in here over the winter. Uh, this is the back door. I decided that it would be a good way to keep water from getting inside the vehicle. Uh, it looks real tacky, real nerdy. But like I said, it's only there for winter storage purposes. Uh, see <clears throat> this is a stock ch uh, stock chassis basically it's got a three inch maybe that's two and a half inch two and a half to three inch body lift um, and they're all loose I didn't put this lift on uh, I had been wanting to take it off I might do it I don't know yet and then it's got a suspension lift coil springs in the front there's nothing really special about the lift I don't think anyway it's lifted enough that it can handle I could squeeze 35s under it if I wanted to um, when I bought it it had 33s on it they were trash so I threw them away and I bought these 31s it's just plain Jane uh, rear axle. It did have uh, the drive shaft conversion done because these things came stock with CV shafts, which was a very dumb idea. So that's usually a pretty expensive conversion. And then in the front as well, uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the front drive shaft. Someone thought it would be cool to uh, chop the frame right here. You can see that cross member chopped. They did that because the lift wouldn't have left any clearance for this front drive shaft. So that's something else I need to do. If I end up keeping this Bronco when I do the solid front Dana 30 conversion, I'll probably come up with some creative way to fix that so that it doesn't get worse like a busted frame or something okay a um, little bit of body damage here looks like it got rear-ended somewhere along the way and then you know scratch marks are probably kind of hard to tell but that's just for me 
roaming around in the mountains and whatnot. So, this is my 89 Bronco 2 trail rig. Um, I would start it for you, but my new coil here I think is bad. I've got some sun glare, but I've got power. I've got a new battery in it that I pirated out of the old Red Ford. And she just won't turn over, so I think that solenoid's bad. It's the only other thing it could be because it won't even spark when you try and jump it. Birds got in here this winter and they left their nice little mess of uh, bird poo. So that'll be fun. But anyway, I picked this thing up for 300 bucks. It didn't run when I bought it. Uh, the guy thought the engine was bad. Engine's actually not bad. It runs pretty strong. Uh, considering, I mean, it is a 2.9 six cylinder, but it does what I need it to do. So, well, this has been an in depth look. Represent in depth look at my Bronco. I guess there's not really much more to, to look at. This bumper here was custom made by my cousin. Uh, he does bumpers, light racks, uh, cargo racks, different things like that. Right now I've got it I'm just hanging on with some vice grips on each side because we're going to have to. He built this without even looking, so he did a pretty good job. But the way that this L bracket goes onto the frame, I don't have enough room for my bolts to fit in here and I want one up here too so we're gonna get another piece of two inch or maybe even bigger probably to cover up the whole section here so that I can have a good strong mounted rear bumper so that would be the most recent Bronco 2 update and have a good one